Good morning, this is your 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. Seeing some nice conditions out there this morning. The low clouds did move out here a little bit quicker than expected, so seeing temperatures rise quickly into the mid-60s at the moment. Still have that light south wind with partly cloudy conditions. We look at the current surface analysis. We're on the periphery of this high pressure well off the coast, uh, giving us those southerly winds as we go through today today and into tomorrow. That's going to allow temperatures to warm up with a warm day ahead of us for today as well as for tomorrow. Then this cold front well off to the west will be approaching the area late tomorrow into the evening hours, bringing some showers and storms into the local region. If we look at the upper level winds from this morning's sounding, we have a subtly component to the wind in the lowest levels, uh, becoming more westerly as we get above 9,000 feet. Fairly weak through the column, around 15 to 20 knots, or excuse me, 10 to 20 knots through much of the column. We're seeing our peak wind of 46 knots at 25,000 feet, and that is more out of the northwest. Uh, otherwise, the freezing level is at 11,300 feet. If we take a look at the current visible satellite, we can see the low clouds have moved out of the area. Still some lingering uh, just off the coast in the Ocean City area, but otherwise temperatures in the mid-60s here at Wallops and a little bit warmer inland uh, getting into the 70s where they didn't have as much of those low clouds in the area, but otherwise mainly high clouds across the area. Look at the short-term high-resolution model, see how things play out today, expecting partly cloudy conditions to continue as we go through today today, uh, with dry conditions continuing as well. Uh, just mainly some high clouds in the area as we go into the evening. We'll see a continuation of some high, and maybe some mid-level clouds around, and chance of seeing some low clouds once again back in the area through the overnight and morning hours. Otherwise, we'll see some active weather move through well north of the area, uh, for early on Thursday and then as we get through the day on Thursday we'll see mostly cloudy conditions continue warming temperatures uh, with a very warm day for our day on Thursday and then the cold front itself will start to approach the area as we get later in the afternoon and early part of the evening and we'll see showers start to come together with some storms embedded with them pushing through for the late afternoon early evening hours and continuing into the first part of the overnight and then as we get into the morning hours of Friday we'll see some lingering showers in the area early and then most of that activity should move out as we get into the beginning of our day time hours on Friday so if we look zoom out take a look at the European model here starting Friday morning again we see that front pushing out of the area uh, for the start of the day on Friday uh, so all that shower activity south and southeast of the area and continue to move uh, to the south. Uh, we'll see mostly cloudy conditions uh, continuing through today on Friday and then continuing into Saturday uh, with some slightly cooler temperatures uh, just below average for this time of year as high pressure starts to build into the area. Uh, GFS is an outlier with some of the model outputs here for the weekend bringing some moisture into the area late Saturday but Again, not really expecting that. That is the outlier solution. We should see this area of low pressure over the southeast stay well to the south, and any shower activity also stay well to the south as we go through the weekend with high pressure and more sun coming in for the end of the weekend and continuing into the beginning of next week as high pressure stays in control with dry conditions and very seasonable and nice conditions for the first half of next week. And the way things look, we should see some dry conditions as we continue through much if not all of the week for next week. So if we look at the 24 hour weather risk chart for today we did have that red risk for reduced ceilings of visibilities with that fog in the area early this morning I've since seen that clear out of here so currently green at the moment we'll pick up that yellow risk for reduced ceilings once again as we go into the evening for a chance of some low clouds in the area but otherwise expecting a warm day today I did have our forecast at high around 70 degrees, but with those clouds moving out a bit faster, wouldn't be surprised to see a couple degrees above that, but expecting the southerly wind to continue around 5 to 10 knots, and then could see a peak wind late this afternoon, 9 to 14 knots, possibly gusting up to 19 knots for the later part of the afternoon. As we go into the evening hours, we'll see a very mild evening, only getting down to around 58 degrees, which is pretty much the average high for this time of year. Um, so a very mild evening ahead. Again, we'll have some uh, mainly high, high clouds around and then a few mid-level clouds. And then again, we had a chance for low clouds around. And then as we go into the day on Thursday, we'll see the winds become a bit more southwesterly and a little more gusty, gusting up to 19 knots to start the day 
around 64 degrees on Thursday. Tides are running normal at the moment. If we go into our Thursday, expecting most of the cloudy to overcast conditions. We'll see those showers start to move into the area by late afternoon, early evening. We'll see a breezy day and very warm with a high around 77 degrees. So we do have that orange chance for precip and lightning in the area again, late afternoon, early evening. And then we'll see a yellow risk for winds at or above 25 knots and yellow for those reduced ceilings and visibilities. Those risks will continue as we go into Thursday evening picking up a red risk for precip as the better bulk of the precip will be moving through during that evening time frame. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll see cloudy showers, thunderstorms continuing, and then we'll see just mainly lingering showers through the early morning hours of Friday. Uh, slightly breezy, and we'll see cooler temperatures start to move into the area with the low around 51 degrees. And as we go into Friday, we'll start off cloudy and then becoming mostly cloudy as we get go through the day. Uh, we'll have a very slight chance of a lingering shower early and a slight breeze early, but then we'll see that breeze weaken and the chances of any lingering sprinkles start to diminish as we go through the day. So overall, green conditions for our Friday and expecting a high around 57 degrees, so a uh, cooler day on Friday. Looking at the extended forecast, we'll see cooler temperatures for the weekend in the low to mid 50s for our highs and seasonable lows in the low 40s for our lows. We'll see cloudy conditions for Saturday, just a 10% chance of precip, uh, mainly because of that GFS outlier solution for Saturday evening, but not looking very likely. We'll see more sun as we go into the day on Sunday. And as we get into the beginning of next week, we'll see a return of more seasonable temperatures with lows in the low to mid 40s and highs in the low to mid 60s. We'll see uh, partly cloudy conditions for Monday and mostly sunny conditions as we go into the day on Tuesday. Well, that will wrap up the 10 a.m. daily weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow at 8.15 and 10 a.m. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.